Hey everybody, Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I'm so glad you are here. I want to welcome you all into my channel where sparkle never goes out of style. And as you can see, I'm going to be doing a little whipping chat with you guys. Um, oops, I got a drill over here. Put that in there. Um, I actually had filmed a whip and chat yesterday. I was going to have this video up today, which is uh, Sunday, August 1st, but I just didn't like the way that it turned out. So I decided, no, I'm going to redo it. Um, and I've got a lot more things to talk to you about today. So um, in a way, I'm glad that it didn't turn out because, got, yeah, I've got a whole lot more stuff to say. I've got a little bit of a, a rant. I normally don't do rants. Maybe I'll call it a mini rant. Maybe I'll call it just a complaining session because I really don't like, I just don't like to listen to people rant on and on and on about stuff. But um, I do want to tell you the story. And if I have time in this one, um, I have a video clip of our my sister's um, thrift store haul at least part of it anyway. We're gonna show you some of the items that we picked up, um, what she paid for them, and what she's gonna list them for on eBay, and hopefully those are the prices that she's gonna get. So I've got that. Um, I am drinking my coffee out of my um, Who Rescued Who Ray Dunn mug. Um, Gracie's sound asleep in the chair. And uh, it is oh dark 30. It is still dark. It's very early. And so let's get rolling in on this. Um, if you guys like this content, you know, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing by clicking on the lower, red, lower right hand corner button over here that you can go ahead and subscribe. And if you hit the notification bell, you get notified anytime that I upload a new video. And all these little YouTube -y things uh, really help my channel and the analytics to continue to grow and so that I can continue to bring you more content of the stuff that you wanna see. All right, so now we're rolling. So this beautiful little pink owl I got from Timu and my friend Sam with Crafting with Sam um, purchased the same one and um, we chat you know, every now and again. And um, we said, why don't we just do it together? So I said, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do this together. So uh, she's gonna be painting this and I'm painting this and this is for, um, the reason why we're painting it is because of the moon that's in it. Um, I have a theme every month and this month's theme for September is called Harvest Moon. And it is any painting with a moon in it. You have to excuse me, I have to take a sip of coffee because my throat was already dry. All right, so uh, I wanna invite you all over to my Facebook group, which is Diamonds and Crafts by Tita, and you can find the link down below in the description if you wanna go over there. Um, yeah, really like to invite you to join. It's a lot of fun. The group is well over 1,500 people now, so it's super active. You see a lot of posts. People are very, very nice. It's drama-free zone. You know me, I'm a uh, no drama llama kind of person. So, and it's safe because it's private. It is not a public group. All right, so here we go. Okay, Sam, um, I'm sure you're probably working on yours too, so um, let's have some fun with this. All righty, so here goes. <coughs> I am working actually on the moon. I am doing the twos, and I gotta turn it this way so I can get to the twos. Um, and we will just go from here. All right, so... Um, let me tell you, like I said, this is gonna be just kind of like a little mini rant, a little mini complaining, um, what grinds my gears. Uh, like I said, I'm normally not a real complaining type of person. Um, you know, really positive, upbeat. If there is an issue, um, I always try to resolve it. I try to find a solution. I don't wanna be just a complainer. Um, and I, I always want to, you know, assume positive intent. I always want to assume the best in people, best in a company. Um, 
And so that's my background story. All right, so here's the story. Um, and this is all about Walmart. So I know there's a lot of feelings about Walmart. Um, seems like either you love them or you hate them. Um, you know, a lot of people don't shop there. A lot of sh people shop there exclusively. Um, but for me, Walmart is um, really just down the street from me. It is really close. So it's super convenient. Um, Walmart and Safeway, they're my go-to because they are so close. Well, anyway, um, first of all, my Walmart's being remodeled. So there's a lot of chaos, both in the store and in the parking lot and all that. And um, if you've noticed in your Walmarts, I don't know if it, they're doing it in your Walmarts yet, but in my Walmart, uh, they are locking all the high um, theft items up. And either there's a button that says, push this button and someone will come and assist you and open up the case and get your item. Or um, they have a phone number that you actually have to call um, to get help. And I gotta go, hang on a second, I'm gonna go this way. I'm trying to, the twos are kinda in the middle, so I'm gonna have to kinda go this way. All right, so that's the two ways that you can get an item. And I've been a little frustrated because it takes so long for an associate to come and lock it. Um, they're probably short staffed, I get it. Um, I know getting people hired is difficult. I know it's a high turnover um, employment. Um, so I understand the issues that they're going through. Um, and I understand why they are locking things up. Again, it's their bottom line. They're probably losing a lot of money to go to that extreme. Although I think there could be other options. Um, I think they could have more loss prevention in the store. Because I know for months I've been talking to associates about how they don't have loss prevention in there. They told me that there's days that they don't have loss prevention and they literally have people going running out the store with cartfuls of stuff and nothing can be done about it because of course the associates can't you know chase after a shop choplifter i mean that's not their job or i mean that's law enforcement or you know loss prevention or security or you know that's those people's type of job um so anyway i'm frustrated frustrated with with that piece and um, when and I've been talking to my sister about it, and and she she was all upset the other day. She comes calling. She called me, and, and then I went up to her house to chat with her. And I think this was on this was on Friday. This was on Friday that we were talking, and she said that her her husband um, had gone up. To Walmart to get his diabetic supplies, his strips, and um, he was a little bit frustrated because first of all, um, he has some mobility issues and um, it's hard for him to walk, you know, a, a good length of, of, of time. It's just difficult for him to walk. And uh, anyway, he had parked down by the pharmacy end the doors were locked, so he had to walk all the way to the um, grocery door and then walk the full length of the store back to the pharmacy. Um, so he did that, and, you know, of course, his strips are locked up, and that's normal. Um, yeah, that's normal. That's a high theft item. So he calls the number that's on there to call and he gets a voicemail and that just says this voicemail hasn't been set up so no one's answering so he called you know a few times nope no one answered and you know he hadn't run into that problem before wasn't certain what to do and he asked the pharmacy and the pharmacy said you know we're really sorry you know we don't have keys we can't open that so to kind of make a long story short on this part um he just went home and he didn't mention anything um, to my sister until it was Friday. So she's just madder than a wet hornet right now. Um, 
and is calling, telling me that, oh, you know, he's now totally out of strips. He needs his strips, you know, blah, blah, blah. Why is Walmart doing this? And um, she calls to, to tell him what happened to hopefully be able to resolve a problem. And they said that you know, the phones are always manned by a member of salaried management. Um, there's always somebody to answer the phone. And she goes, nope, there was nobody that answered the phone when my husband was there. And he left without his very important items. So anyway, nothing got resolved except a, I'm sorry, you know, we have to do this for loss prevention and blah, 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 blah. I said, okay. All right, so yesterday, Saturday, I... Um, I'm getting low on toilet papers and I needed some milk and, and stuff like that. And I said, okay, I'm going to run to Walmart really quick. I need to go, go do that. So when I'm there, I thought, oh, you know what? I'm just going to go text my brother-in-law and um, say, hey, I'm at Walmart. Do you need anything? Do you want me to pick up your strips? And he goes, that would be amazing. Please pick up my strips. I said, okay. So I walk in the store and... Uh, now the the pharmacy door is open, although I parked at the other end and went in that way, but that's a whole other story there. And uh, so I go and I find the strips that he needs and I call. Call the number. And she answered right away, said, no problem, we will send somebody right over so they can open that case up for you. I'm going to take a little sip of coffee, a little bit dry. I said, okay. So stand around, stand around, stand around. And there's a lot of people in line at the pharmacy because it's busy. I mean, nor it was the time of day. It was, I don't know, mid-afternoon on a Saturday. So you know they're going to be busy. Uh, that's not the time I normally go in to pick up prescriptions or anything. But there was a lot of people. So anyway, I stand around, stand around, stand around. Nobody comes, nobody comes, nobody comes. I call again. And I said, hey, you know, I'm getting a little irritated. Uh, nobody is coming. How long does it take for someone to come? Oh, no problem. I will call again. I will get you somebody right over there. Okay. So I wait a couple more minutes. And a little gal shows up. Very sweet. You know, and I'm starting to get a little irritated again. But I show her which one I need. You know, I need the this blue box here, this one, the 100 count. And um, she says, okay. She, so she opened it up. She grabbed it. And I said, okay, I'm using the Walmart Scan and Go. So let me just scan it so I can have it in, in there and, um, and we'll go. She goes, okay, great. I will have it up at self-checkout for you. So you can't keep it in your cart. You have to go to self-checkout. So, all right, I said, I'm going to be a little while because I have got a couple other items. I said, I'm not going right up there. She goes, no problem. Just go up, go up when you can. Okay. So I, I love to go and check out the clearance section. Is there anything that I can't live without in the clearance section? And there was nothing that I had to have. Um, and then I walk over to the craft section to see if there's any diamond painting. Of course, I got to check out the diamond painting, right? Nothing. I even went online. They aren't carrying any diamond paintings in the store. So I don't know if it's just because of the remodel and they just don't um, have them right now or if um, or if they're just not carrying them. So then I go off to do, you know, my other shopping. And as I'm kind of heading down toward uh, the dairy aisle, I remember that Gracie needs her dog treats because she's out of her dog treats. And, you know, she's getting fussy. She really only likes the one kind anymore. Although my sister can get her to eat other stuff, um, I can't. Um, anyway, that's a, that's a laugh. And she um, she eats the fresh pet, the rolled um, refrigerated dog food, and she likes the fresh pet treat, um, which is great. And so I, I guess I'm kind of out of frame. Sorry about that, guys. I haven't really been watching what I'm doing here. So I go up. To the refrigerated case and I see a sign on it and I go oh my gosh do they have the dog food locked up now but nope they don't have the dog food there's no light on no food in it 
and it wasn't running so I thought oh it must the refrigerator must be broken so I call again and answer um, no problem I will send somebody right away and okay and this time someone really did come right away she's super sweet um, but the problem was I there's nothing in the case, so I wasn't, I mean, I knew kind of in the area, it was on the top shelf, but I didn't know where on the top shelf it was. So it took us a minute to get the right SKU number so she could uh, go get it in the back. But we got it figured out, and she goes, okay. I was told her, I said, I need two rolls, and I need one bag of the treats. Okay, no problem. I'll be back in just a minute. So I wait around, wait around, wait around, and I think it took her about 10 minutes to come back. So, again, now I'm still kind of a little bit irritated, but it's like, whatever. I just I just want to be done. I want to go home. It's hot. I'm, I want to go home. So I go and I run and I get the milk. And then I really remembered I needed butter and I needed some bread. So I was zooming around and I got just a couple items that I needed. And um, let me just get this down here. There we go. And so I go up to pay for it. So I said, hey, I'm doing the scan and go, and you have the strips uh, for me. And she goes, yeah, we were wondering if you were ever going to come and get the strips. I go, I, I'm sorry, I had to wait a little while to get my dog food because you had to unlock a case. I mean, and I told the girl that I wasn't going to be coming right up. And um, I look at them, and I go, those are the wrong ones. And... I had already paid, because the scan and go, you literally scan a QR code on the register and it pays for it um, on your credit card. And she goes, okay, no problem. We'll walk back over to the case and I'll get someone with a key to unlock it. So here we go, third time around. So, okay. So she was very sweet and walks over and finds someone, you know, with the key, gets the right stuff and she goes, Okay, so now we have to go over to customer service because we got to make certain our inventory is right. So they're going to have to exchange this for you. Go, okay, let's go up to customer service. This is great. And um, they're busy, of course, because it's Saturday afternoon. And uh, one gal that's in customer service, she's been there for years. Uh, her name's Mavis, and she's super sweet and um always helpful and she was not the person helping me uh, another lady was and she looked at the items and she saw that they were the diabetic strips and she goes um you can't exchange or return those that's the policy and i go i haven't even left the store what do you mean i can't exchange them i just i need these these blue ones i don't need the black ones she pulled the wrong one and granted, I wasn't paying attention. I need to own it that I should have caught it when she pulled it out, but I didn't. I'm sorry, I haven't left the store. I'm not going to pay for strips twice. And um, so they bring, I don't know, a lead person over, and she couldn't she couldn't do it. So then they they bring up another person. And, um, you know, he says, well, you know, these aren't returnable. And I said, listen, so now I tell my story another time. It's like, oh my gosh, she pulled the wrong box. I didn't notice it. I've already paid for it. I have not left the store. I've been in the store the whole time, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, okay, so we can't, I can't do it in the system. I'm going to have to go to the cashier's office. I have to get cash so that I will refund the money, and then you have to purchase it again. I said, okay. So then we wait around again. It's probably another 10 or 15 minutes before he goes to get the cash to come back. And anyway, he does, he does his thing. I get the strips. I do all that. It's like, okay, whew, let's go home. So my Walmart, I don't know if your Walmart is doing this, but they're kind of like Costco now. They want to see your receipt when you leave. So I'm walking out, right? And I'm already still kind of ticked. I've been in the store like an hour and 20 minutes for something that should have taken me 10, 15 minutes to be in and out. And um, she goes, can I see your receipt? I go, oh, no, not today. Not with the issues I've had. I have paid for it, but I'm out of here. 
So anyway, I um I was when they told me that I there was no returns or exchanges. I said, "You know, I'm really normally a super sweet person. I know you're only following policy. I know all that, but if you can't exchange this or find a manager that's able to do this, you know, my head is going to be spinning around." And I again, I I told them my plight again with the store. And I said, this is absolutely ridiculous. If, if this continues to happen, I'm not going to be able to shop here. I said, you are making it so hard on the honest people that don't steal. I said, there has to be some other solutions that will work better for everybody than this when you are penalizing the honest people. So anyway, that's my plight. That was my Walmart story. So I did finally make it home, but you know what? I did not get the item that I went for as I was going for toilet paper. Did not get it, totally forgot it. So I'm going up to Walmart again. Hopefully toilet paper is not locked up. Um, I have to laugh a little bit, but like I said, I know it's not there. It's not the clerk's fault, the associate's fault. You know, and I, I try never, ever, ever to, um, you know, really be rude or, you know, complain to the clerks because it's not their fault. I mean, they just work there and they're following policy. And I get it. Um, but it sure is, it sure is a frustrating time for certain. I need to go this way. Hang on. Let's go. Let's go that way. So that was my Walmart story. 21 minutes in for the Walmart story. Are you guys having trouble with your Walmarts? Um, with this kind of issue? Because I don't know where to shop. I was thinking about going over to Target. But, you know, they're way farther away, and it's so inconvenient to get to. I really don't want to do that. So, so that is that. That was my Walmart story. And then, you know, my sister and brother-in-law, they felt so bad for, what, for me. She said, we're going to take you out to dinner. We'll come pick you up at 5, and we'll go to Mexican food. I go, okay. That's a deal. So they um, they came and got me. We had a really nice dinner. I had um, I had flautas. And if you don't, if you're not familiar with what flautas are, um, they are like taquitos. You know, taquitos are a corn tortilla with you know meat you know in the middle of it, um, rolled up and deep fried. And a flauta is the same thing, but with a flour tortilla. Um, and it's served, they had beans and rice with it, and then guacamole and sour cream and, you know, some toppings for it. And it was really good. And my sister had chili Colorado. And um, brother-in-law had enchiladas. So we had a really, really nice dinner. This one, our favorite restaurant is always good. They always have good food. So that was good. And what I wanna um, do next really quick, if I can do it, if I can do it, I'm gonna run a video clip after this and um, you can see our garage cell finds. And then I'll talk about the garage cell finds um, when that clip is done and I will come back. If I can't do the clip, then I will talk about something else because we had a great time. Let me tell you, we had such a blast. We went to some garage sales. Uh, we went to One Goodwill and we went to Salvation Army. And there was so much stuff. Um, when we go shopping, um, 
all the stuff that we get, she puts in a, a big tote in the back of her car. It keeps it neater and cleaner, and so we just put it all in the tote. And she had a full, huge tote of stuff. Okay, so the twos are done that way. I gotta flip this around and get the other eye. Um, so yeah, we had a lot of fun with that. Okay, so stay tuned, and uh, you are gonna see the clip of um, the garage sale. And I'll be back in just a minute. Hopefully you're gonna see the clip. If you don't, I'll be back and we're gonna talk about something else, okay? Hey everybody, Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me. Um, I am with my sister, Bev, say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, hi. she's saying hi. And uh, this is part of the haul that we did this morning at thrift stores and garage sales. And so I hope you're gonna like this. Everybody has been wanting me to show you what I've gotten. Um, I haven't, there's nothing uh, related to diamond painting, but let's show you a couple things that we got. The first thing I wanna show you is this Hello Kitty toaster. Look at this Hello Kitty toaster. Isn't she adorable? Oh my gosh, that is just awesome. All you Hello Kitty lovers would love to have a Hello Kitty toaster. And where'd you find that one at, Bev? Um, I found it at Goodwill. Okay. And how much was it? I believe it cost me $4. Okay. And what do you think you're going to sell it for? I'm going to sell it for $35 to $40. Oh, <laughs> pretty good profit, huh? Okay, so that one wasn't today's visit, but I wanted to show you that. <clears throat> um, the next one I want to show you is this. This is um, a longa barger. Um, what am I trying to say? Uh, you put it in your kitchen and you put your spoons and spatulas and all that kind of stuff. And longa barger here on the Pacific Northwest, we don't see very many of them. Um, and they usually do baskets, but this should be pretty cool. We got that at a garage sale this morning for, what was that? Five? Five dollars. Five dollars. And what do you think? What are you going to ask for it? I'm going to ask 25 to 30. Okay, that is awesome. And then I'm going to move over to these shoes. I'm really tickled about these. Most of these clothes now, we had specials on everything summer. And since we still have summer going on right now, uh, we thought these had some value. Okay, these are Tommy Bahamas. Now, usually you think of Tommy Bahama more as um, a men's. Um, item, but these look like they were maybe worn once. They were ticketed for $15. This was at our Salvation Army, and they had a sale today. Anything that was summer was a dollar. So we got those for a dollar. And what do you think you're going to ask for those? Uh, 20 to 25. So that's pretty good. And, and the, again, I, I sell on eBay, so those are my eBay prices. Okay, and then these are... Um, uh, Franco Sardos and these are uh, beautiful shoes as well um, I don't remember what they were stickered for I think was it six six dollars yeah they were tagged for six and um, what are you gonna ask for those uh, between 15 and 20 oh awesome okay and moving on Want me to hold that up yeah this is so pretty. You're probably going to just have to hang it in the front. We're doing the back of her car. Yeah. This is a plus size, and it's a real pretty... I think you're going to have to just lay it down. Okay. There it's you... so pretty. Yeah, there you go. Now you see the back of me. No, you don't. Oh, good. You don't see the back of me. Hold on. We're getting it. We're getting it. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, now this one, I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch the sparkles on this or not. It's a diamond painting. Yeah, it's a diamond painting. It is super sparkly. Yeah, I'm not going to catch it. Um, and this one is Elaine Bryant. Um, and this one, again, since it was summer, it was a dollar. So there's that one. And what are you gonna ask for that one? Uh, 15 to 18. Okay, so that's a pretty good profit on this. We had some fun. 
Now this one, I know this is my sexy top. Now I know I wouldn't be. Um, it's a wear, corset. Wearing this one, this is a corset. It's jazzed up. Yeah, this is a corset, and this one is by Torrid. Um, and Torrid is uh, pretty expensive. Um, and that and that was a dollar as well. Mm -hmm. And what are you gonna ask for that one? Eighteen. About eighteen. Okay. Cause it's a little dressier. Now these. I have never even heard of these. These are called Judy oh, Blue. Okay. Yeah, these are called Judy Blue jeans, and these are plus size. And what do they retail for? Oh, they're over a hundred dollars. Okay, that's a lot. That's of why we haven't heard of them. That's a lot. Yeah, we don't shop for a hundred dollars. <laughs> I, I don't buy a hundred dollar jeans. That's exactly right. Um, so these appear to be new with tags or new because it still says mid rise on it. Mm -hmm. And she got these for six dollars at a garage sale. I got two pair. Okay. One is not new and it's a little more distressed, but it's very pretty too. Yeah, there's that one. And again, that was six dollars. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to ask for these? 40 to 45. Okay. And then this one, what is that one? This is a pair of frame jeans. Again, it's another one that is really expensive. They go over $100. I've never even heard of them. Obviously, I don't buy $100 jeans. And I've... I got this also at the garage sale. Okay, so that was $6 too. Mm -hmm. So that was really cool. That was a great deal. And then... Um, Oh, this was an awesome. This, was this awesome. is one of my favorite uh, dresses uh, brands to to sell, to resell. It's called Fresh Produce, and everybody likes just a comfortable t-shirt dress with pockets, and they sell fast. And they're isn't that cute though? It's just a, it's just a t-shirt dress with pockets. Cotton. Um, yeah, cotton. So we got that one. That was at a garage. No, mm -hmm. no, that was no, at. No, it was at Salvation, Salvation Army. Salvation Army for a dollar. A dollar. No, fifty cents. It was yellow today. Oh, fifty cents. This was fifty cents. Okay, and what are you gonna sell or ask for that? Thirty-five. That is awesome. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you everything, um, but I'm gonna show you really quick. When we're shopping, we put everything in this big bucket here in the car so i want to show you we have all kinds of stuff in here there's more more clothes there's a puzzle um there's joe jeans down there uh yeah i'm just not going to do everything this one is really cool this is a um halogen which is an anthropology brand um which is really cool too um, but let me just go ahead and shut that thing up. But basically that was, you know, our, our little haul. Uh, we went out at about, um, eight o'clock this morning or so. And of course we got our, um, my senior coffee over at McDonald's cause I need to have that. And, uh, then we started shopping and we only went to two or we did two garage sales and Salvation Army and one Goodwill. And, um, that was it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little haul. This was fun. Um, and I, yeah, my sister and I, we have a lot of fun doing this. And I just thought I'd share what, what we do. So take care, everybody. Okay, I'm back, guys. What did you think of that little um, thrift store haul? No diamond paintings. Um, I did see, however, they were a storage box of the Tic Tac containers. Um, and they wanted, I don't know, it was like $4 for it. I think you can get them cheaper on Timu than that. Anyway, it was fun to see all the stuff that she found, huh? And it, actually, we both found stuff. Um, and she's got such a good eye, and she knows what sells. It always amazes me what sells. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I hope you liked that. Um, one thing I was really excited about were those um, Tommy Bahama shoes um, because those were $15. And as my sister was at the checkout line, 
one of the ladies, because we were saying how nice it was that the summer clothes were a dollar, because that's pretty cool. And she goes, oh, it's the shoes too. And we go, it's the shoes. And I just hightailed it over to the shoe section because I'd seen the Tommy Bahamas and I saw the Sam Edelman's and grabbed those really quick. And I said, these are sandals. Do they count as summer? And they said, yep, they count as summer. So there you go. I don't even know where I'm at now. So um, anyway, that was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I keep trying to get her to do a YouTube channel because she, let me tell you, is a wealth of knowledge for um, for reselling on eBay. I think she could do real well with the channel. I mean, I told her, I said, I could film. You know, I was thinking that, you know, I could get a GoPro and, you know, and film in the stores. Although with the music, I'd have to, you know, remove all the sound and then, um, you know, do a voiceover because you don't want to get a copyright strike against you. So anyhow, um, that's about all that I have for you today. I'm going to finish up these last little twos and then the twos will be done and then I'll move on to the next one. I think I want to do these eights. I think those eights are going to be pretty. In fact, what color are eights? Let me see what they are. Six, seven. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta find the eight. I gotta put that down so I can have two hands. Oh, those are the eights, the little white pearls. Yeah, I wanna do those next. I will do them. Um, so anyway, that is, that's gonna be my whip and chat for today. My little bit of a gripe session. I shouldn't say a rant. I will call it a gripe session. How about that? Because um, like I said, I don't like to... I don't like to really complain too much. I mean, I don't want to be like walked over or treated badly. You know, that I won't tolerate. But at the same time, I'm definitely not going to yell at a store clerk or be rude um, because they're just doing their job. You know, they don't have any control over this. So I have to try to be nice. But I really hope that Walmart can resolve this. Um, and I'm sure that, like, I'm not the only one that's complaining, you know, about it. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll put this next. Um, I got a little video of my sister's cat, Bobby. He's just the coolest cat ever. I just love him so much. Uh, he's just an absolute sweetheart. Uh, he tries to escape all the time, but he's a good cat. Um, Gracie loves him. So you can you can see Bob. She calls him Bob. I call him Bobby. Um, but yeah. So anyway, you guys have a great uh, rest of your weekend. Um, if you're celebrating the Labor Day weekend, hope you, hopefully you're off of work. That would be wonderful. I know I'm off of work, so hopefully I can be diamond painting most of the day. Um, I'm going to try to clean this this afternoon a little bit too after I see my kids. So that's about it. So remember, you're perfect exactly as you are. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for. All right, guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye. Who's a handsome kitty? Who's a Bob? Bob. Bob, Bob, Bob. I love you.